Okay, shalom lekolam, chag chanukah tameach. My name is Thomas Fretwell, founder of the Ezra Foundation. It's a great pleasure just to be able to share this brief Hanukkah devotion with you. So the main theme of Hanukkah is that of light. So as we kindle these Hanukkah candles, let's just explore this a little bit more right now. Our text for this devotion is Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 to 3. So please turn there with me. Let's read this together. It says, Rise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of Adonai has risen on you. For behold, darkness covers the earth, and deep darkness the peoples. But Adonai will rise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations will come to your light, kings to the brilliance of your rising. So here we see Isaiah just give this glimpse of the glorious future of Zion under the reign of the Messiah, of the Mashiach. And this passage must, however, be understood as the solution to the situation we find in the previous chapter. So let's just briefly summarize Isaiah chapter 59. It starts off in verse 2, speaking of the sins of Israel, the nation that have separated them from God. Famous verse, it says, But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. And then it moves on in verse 9. It talks about the darkness of Israel at that time. They're seeking for justice. They're seeking for righteousness. It says, We hope for light, but behold, darkness. We hope for brightness, but we walk in gloom. We're groping around like blind men, the text says. In verse 11, it says that they're hoping for justice, but there's none. And they hope for salvation, but it is far from them. And then finally, the final verse in chapter 59, we have this wonderful promise of redemption. It says in verse 20 that a redeemer will come to Zion and to those who turn from transgression in Jacob. And this redeemer from Zion is the Mashiach, is the Messiah, the one who will bring that salvation, the one who will reconcile them to God. And again, the one who will shine the light of the glory of God from Israel to the nation so that they see it and they will stream up to the light of the Messiah. And this is why I find it so fascinating and amazing that when we get to the first century and we look at the way that Yeshua is presented to us in the Gospels, let's look at this. We see when his parents, Joseph and Mary, bring him to the temple to dedicate him and offer the sacrifice in accordance with the Tanakh. We see, we meet this man called Simeon in Jerusalem. He's described as being a righteous man, someone who is waiting for the consolation of Israel. And when he sees the boy Yeshua in the temple, through the Spirit he utters these words. Now may you let your servant go in peace, O sovereign master, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. And this verse here, this, this um, Spirit-inspired speech by Simeon here, actually quotes from the passage in Isaiah that we've seen. The infant here, the infant Jesus, is placed here as the fulfillment of these messianic hopes. He is the Redeemer to come, the one that was going to reconcile them to God, the one that is going to be the light that everyone would stream up to in the future. It's no wonder why when Jesus was grown up during the Feast of Sukkot, the season of light, he declares himself to be the light of the world it's amazing and this year i pray that we would all see the light of the world happy hanukkah god bless you